Leaf protein is a curd extracted from fresh green edible leaves. Now you can get roughly 5% of the mass of a bunch of leaves as curd, which is highly rich in protein. But 5% is not a lot. Suppose you want to eat a steak worth of plant-based protein extracted from leaves, you would have to eat tens of kilograms of leaves, which is not a good idea because our body has not been designed to eat massive quantities of fresh leaves. And that's why fresh edible leaves are discarded as agricultural waste. We don't consider them as food or as a source of protein. It doesn't mean that it's not recommended to eat fresh edible leaves. They're very delicious and very nutritious. You can take fresh leaves from red beets, for example, saute them with a bit of garlic and butter, and serve them as a side dish with something else. Delicious. But today, we have technology that allows us to process large quantities of leaves, extract this curd, dry it up, and use it as an ingredient in all sorts of preparations. You can put it in shakes and have a protein-rich beverage, you can mix it with pasta, etc., etc. So today we're going to go to the sensorica lab and see how we can extract this curd from fresh leaves from red beets. And then we're going to go to a kitchen and cook something delicious. Now this is part of a venture called Greens for Good. And the mission is to build an open source device that anybody in the world can reproduce and process fresh green edible leaves, extract this curd. The Greens for Good venture is incubated within the Sensorica network. And like any other ventures within the Sensorica environment, this one is open, which means anybody can join, even you. This is the source of our fresh leaves. To give you a rough idea about the size, we started with 300 grams and we didn't use the whole thing. We used an Omega juicer, which was designed for grass or fresh edible leaves. The juice comes out from the middle, and on the left side, we see the dry stuff, which is mostly fiber. We stop the juicer in the middle to see how the leaves were being processed. We can see a few distinct regions within this juicer. The first one on the right is transport. Then you have a zone where the leaves get compacted, a grinding zone, and a compression zone. We took samples from all these zones. On the right, you have the compacting, in the middle, you have the grinding, and on the left, you have the compression. This is where the juice gets squeezed. So this is a zoom picture of the compression area. And these are some microscope pictures from the same sample. This is a zoom from the grinding area. And this is a microscope picture from the same sample. And this is a zoom from the compacting area, as you can see, a big piece of leaf. So we obtain the juice on top and the fiber on the bottom right. And the juice had some foam on top, which we discarded. Now this is a microscope picture of the foam. And this is a microscope picture of the juice. We took the juice and put it in a microwave for three shots of 20 seconds with about 20 seconds in between. And that's the end result, which is the juice with the coagulated curd. Then we pass that through a coffee filter to separate the curd from the juice. And we obtain roughly 20 grams of curd. Now at this stage, the curd is pretty moist. So what can we do with a nice green curd from red beets?
I want to thank you very much for watching this video. You can go to sensorica.co and join our network and join this adventure. And if you're in Montreal, why don't you come and visit the lab? It's a place for collaborative entrepreneurs. You have an idea in mind? You can set up your project within the Sensorica environment. See you next time.